Dear students, now we are going to discuss assembler, linker and loader concepts in detail. The steps involved in developing and executing assembly language programs in 8086 microprocessor are given here. The first one is assembler, linker and then loader. Let's start with this assembler. The assembly language program is given as input to this assembler. It translates that assembly language into machine code. Machine language is nothing but binary or object code. Okay. So next that is given as input to this linker. Linker is a special type of program which converts that machine code into executable machine code by appending the values of library files for that object code. Okay. Finally. The loader is going to load the executable machine codes into that memory and then the program is executed. Do you all understand? So, these three are very important steps in assembly language program execution. Let's start with the assembly language instruction format. Label, colon, mnemonic, operand 1, operand 2, comment. So, here this label can be any name which is relevant to that program. Here consider sum. The mnemonic is add. Operant 1 is AX. Operant 2 is BX. The comment is to add the contents of AX and BX registers. Okay. This is the general format of assembly language program. So we are going to give this assembly language program to this assembler. That is the first step. An assembler is a program that translates the source file in assembly language into machine language. Machine language is nothing but the language which is understandable by the machine. So here it is in terms of binary code or object code. Okay. The assembler generates two files. The first one is object file. It contains the binary codes for the instruction and data. It is denoted as .obj file. The next one is assembler list file. It contains the assembly language statements, the binary code for each instruction and the offset for each instruction. So this file name is mentioned as .asm file. Okay. These two files are generated by this assembler. Two types of assemblers are used. One is MASM that is Microsoft Macro Assembler. The next one is TASM Durbo Assembler. Okay, so we can use any one of these two assemblers. The comment on comment prompt performing this operation is given like this. So any colon we can use that is C colon MASM bin and we can state that mass m and the file name dot asm then it is translating that assembly language into object code language or machine language after translating the source file into machine code that machine code file is given as input to this linker tool it is a special program tool which is used to link all the parts of the program that is object files generated by the assembler together for execution. So this searches and appends all the relevant library files needed for its execution and then produces a link file which contains the binary codes for all the combined modules as a executable code. Okay, that is very important. So in this linker, we are going to give that object file from assembler as an input and we can get that executable file that is .exe file by appending the relevant library files for each opcodes. Okay. Types of linkers, linkage editor or dynamic editor. We can use any one of this linker file. The next one is loader. It is a special type of program that loads all executable files to main memory. So here 
we can give the executable files from linker as input to this loader then it loads all the executable files into memory and then the program is started executing okay so this is what that loader function types of loaders relocating loader obsolete loader bootstrap loader direct linking loader so different types of loaders available the last one is debugger it is used to find errors in the program if the error is found then the program can be corrected reassembled and then relinked to get the error free output okay these are the steps to be followed in assembly language process